Hey there, this is Lana, the Comedian Medium. I am bringing you your Gemini Love and Relationship reading for September 2020. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis or anything I do. I do house clearings. I do a little bit of everything. I'm an animal communicator and a health communicator. Okay. Um, please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. You can visit my blog, Wise Woman Sage. You can visit my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. Uh, I get lots of stuff. <laughs> um, you can also visit my brand new podcast. I've had it only about a month. It's called Metaphysical Meanderings, and it's about anything metaphysical. And it's live 9.30 a.m. on Saturday mornings on 216 The Net. You, it's also going to soon be on Spotify and on uh, Apple Podcast. Um, this week I'm dealing with awakenings. I'm going alphabetically or in order of different vocabulary, okay? Try to see if I can help you guys out, all right? Um, got a joke for you, but you might have to have a piece of paper, okay? So Because then you'll understand what I'm saying. What's the difference between a politician and a flying pig? Or flying pigs. What's the difference between them? The letter F. Write it down and then you'll figure it out. Because <laughs> it's kind of funny when you like look at it for a second. Because it took me a minute, but I got it. So, all right. Let's see what we get. Okay, so you've gotten some messages uh, about some stuff that had been coming um, out of August or even July into September. Now, there might have been a meeting with some people, but I feel like there may have been a three-party or a third-party situation somehow. Um, and it was, I want to say it was like a stable type thing, um, and I want to say it's maybe not on your part, but maybe on theirs, okay? Now, at, at one point, this had been, there, there had been some type of message or some type of financial um, uh, connection maybe with this person. So um, maybe they had even given you something to do with money, um, had you do some money, some, something to do with paperwork or something. But this, is, this could be a message of money or had been something to do with money. Now... I want to say that at one point, someone was the emperor. And I want to say it may have been you. You had, may have taken the bull by the horns. Maybe you had gotten rid of somebody and they come back. And that you're, they come back and they leave or they, something like that. Um, or they could have been still part of your life. Now, quickly, you're doing some soul searching and you're moving very quickly. Very quickly. Now, this could also be a car. So this could have something to do with a vehicle. But there's a spirituality involved in all this and a learning experience of some sort, all right? Are you learning that you don't need this person? Are you learning, like, maybe maybe um, you had both, you had a car, you had to get rid of it, or maybe you bought a new car. Maybe something, it has something to do with speed and haste and, and, and transportation. Could have been taking a trip, even. Maybe you had taken it, maybe you were taking a trip with them, or maybe... You're taking a trip, a spiritual trip on your own, which is very much could be, okay? Now, you got the world by your hands, and you're tiptoeing around some stuff. So are you tiptoeing around the relationship that you need to leave and maybe get rid of this person? Um, are you growing as a person? Are you kind of watching over your back because someone screwed you over? You know, and you're getting away from them. You're hiding from them. You're leaving them. You're going away from them. I just want to say that this is a spiritual journey on this, this reading. And you're leaving something. And this is very, this is a spiritual card. And this could also represent the, it's like if I see it like in a certain spot, I might say this could mean a marriage. This could mean a, I want to say in this Thing. This is where you're, you're looking at your belief systems. Maybe you don't need this person. Maybe you just don't want this. You want it, you're just done with this now. You know, you're moving up and on, all right? 
And it's a lot harder work than you think it is, okay? And you're going to be, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be stress in somewhere, you know, like in your back or, you know, there's going to be stress. But there's also, this is a spiritual card also. Now, this could be you spiritually looking at this and trying to look at this in a different way than what you've learned. I always say when I see this card, there's something that has it that you did not know about that's going to be revealed to you. Now, the overall card is a month card. So this is the whole month of September where you're trying to get away from stuff, make some changes, and you're waiting for your ships to, to come in. So you're looking forward to the future. So something's happened where your eyes have been opened, where you've um, spiritually matured. And I want to say that this you had, had been in a relationship that just was not good for you, okay? Um, you don't need them anymore. You're realizing you don't even need anybody. You're, you're in a process of becoming, coming into your own, okay? And this is a spiritual journey. And you're going to really be making a very good um, progress this month, all right? This is a month card, 30 days, all right? Now, this is a good read. It's a very spiritual reading this time. Um, I, I want to say you may have even left them already and, and, and are in the process of healing up from it yet. And just saying, I want to say suffer some of you guys, and I see somebody doing this. You're blocking people. You're blocking somebody. You, they can't get to you. They have been trying to get back with you, or they, they've been doing stuff, and it's making you unhappy, and you're leaving it. You just, you got to leave it behind, okay? Let's see what else we get here. Now, these cards are more of a spiritual nature. They sometimes go with what I've laid, but um, goals. Set your goals. Are you walking away? I, I, I do really feel like, I mean, when you get these two cards together, somebody's walking away here and looking forward to the future. All right? Um, I want to say that this, these people, this person that has been, you had been with was manipulative, uh, maybe even narcissistic, and that he, that, Maybe he had been in a relationship. There's like a love triangle going on too. So, all right. Speak gently to yourself. Be nice to yourself. And that's what it's kind of urging you to do as you grow into this. You are magnificent. And yes, you are. And that is, I feel like some of you guys might have had your, your self-esteem tarnished by this person. Um, and that you really need to really get back to the essence of who you are. Okay, relaxation, relax. You can be lazy, it's okay. Relax a little bit, okay? You gotta relax and enjoy yourself. Do something for fun. You know, I, I think you're maybe putting a little more energy than you should be into a relationship that really wasn't for you to begin with, all right? Um, gratitude, say thank you, you know, this could be for that person that has been a monkey on your back just a little bit. Say thank you for being in a relationship. Say thank you for teaching them about yourself. Say thank you for the opportunity to learn your lesson and let go. I want to say you're letting go. And it's, it's a spiritual, this is a spiritual thing for yourself. All right? Just know you're on to bigger and better things okay um remember i i've told you many times that right here is the solar plexus it is the gut it is the same thing when they say listen to your gut it knows the way it's because that's your soul your soul sits there i did witness i've witnessed people pass and i've watched them walk they literally sit up and leave right there and they also, the Bible even talks about cords being attached there. So that is your, where you'll see your soul is, okay? Um, you're growing, and it's, it's showing, okay? Um, this is a very, very big month for a lot of people for some reason. Not sure why, but by being a year of karma, you're, you're getting the healing that you need because of the decisions that you're making, and you're going in, a, in the right way. 
okay? This is just confirmation. All these readings are just confirmation. You already know what's going on for yourself. You may not think you are, but if you really, really get down deep into your soul, you do know, okay? Blessings to all of you, and um, I'll be coming to you. I try to come every couple days. I'm going to start taping also. I do a lot of um, house clearings where I've got entities or I've got balls of energy that are in, in houses. And so... Um, I am going to be taping them and putting them on live or taping them on YouTube. All right? So maybe you could be watching that. Blessings to all you, and I will be coming back to you with your what you need to know and some of your next month's readings already. Blessings.